This is The Natural Laboratory, a podcast exploring science for Bay Area National Parks. I'm Daniel Strain. I'm talking with Liam O'Brien in his San Francisco home. O'Brien is a Bay Area Renaissance man. He's a professional actor and a butterfly researcher. He also paints. This is a piece that's coming up in Bay Nature magazine. In his illustration, a bright blue butterfly flutters over a coastal grassland dotted with wildflowers. It's a mission blue butterfly, a favorite among Bay Area artists. Despite its popularity, this insect is rare. Rapid Bay Area development in the 20th century drove it close to extinction. In 1976, it was one of the first insects to gain endangered status under the Federal Endangered Species Act. When he's not painting, O'Brien works to protect at-risk butterflies like these. His first goal is communicating to would-be naturalists that mission blues are more than just a pretty face. We all are attracted as humans to the pretty adult phase, but I try to pound home that the butterfly is present for the rest of the year. It's just in three other phases. It's winter on the scraggly bluffs that make up the Marin Headlands in Golden Gate National Recreation Area. I can't see a single butterfly. They're there, O'Brien says. I just need to look under my feet. For nine months out of the year, these insects sleep in the dark under layers of dried leaves. They're waiting for three species of lupin, a silvery shrub, to start growing again. And then when the rains of spring begin again, February, March, they literally wake up. They crawl back up onto the new lupin. Mission blue butterflies depend on lupin plants for everything from food to shelter. It's this dependence that makes these insects so important, says Christina Crooker. She's a restoration manager with the Golden Gate National Parks Conservancy. Since the butterflies depend on the lupins, which depend on the grasslands, they can serve as a sort of an indicator species for grassland health. In other words, what hurts coastal grasslands also hurts mission blues, and vice versa. Coastal prairies like this hillside in the Marin Headlands once covered much of Marin County, California, and the San Francisco Peninsula to the south. Today, they occupy just a few small patches. And a lot of that is because they occur in areas that are just prime for development. They like to live where we like to live. But in Golden Gate lands, Crooker is one of many people working to revive these unique habitats. She protects the communities already flourishing here and sows more native coastal shrubs and grasses. New and healthier habitats bring more butterflies, she says, and in the mid-90s they were doing just that. Mission Blue numbers seem to be on the rise. And then in 1998, something happened that really negatively affected the butterfly populations. What happened was a fungal pathogen swept through the lupin host plants. The lupin blight scattered the butterflies to small, isolated islands of grassland. But, Crooker says, their numbers seem to be growing again. So it's a very positive and very hopeful trend. Still, the Mission Blue's success is tenuous. In 2010, the lupin pathogen re-emerged in the Golden Gate, and butterfly numbers again dropped. Invasive species are a big threat, too. Exotic weeds like French broom and pampas grass push aside the native plants that butterflies depend on. To stop the spread of these unwanted guests, Crooker encourages Bay Area gardeners to grow only non-invasive plants. Community members can help in other ways, too, she says. Another thing that people can do, and this is a really positive experience all around, is to come out and help volunteer. Volunteers can help pull weeds or even get their hands dirty in the Park Service's native plant nursery. These programs don't just help butterflies, but a wide community of animals from garter snakes to bumblebees. According to Liam O'Brien, the best way to appreciate this community is to get out and see it firsthand. For people to take their kids and to walk or to sit and paint and draw a butterfly or something like that. Who's to say who the next great conservationist is going to be? But if butterflies are your thing, you might want to wait until spring. For more information on how you can protect the Mission Blue Butterfly, 
check out the Bay Area Parks resource page at sfnps.org slash mission underscore blues. For the Pacific Coast Science and Learning Center, I'm Daniel Strange.